Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Let me change positions here. I just got done cleaning everything up. I basically just scraped the oil pan, scraped the oil filter adapter, scraped the back of the engine, kind of cleaned up on the inside there, um, kind of cleaned up the starter surface. I flushed the uh, cooler lines and cleaned the, uh, this one still needs to be bent. I don't know if you can see. Um, basically, first of all, the fitting can't really slide back at all. And when it does, whoops. When it does, you can see slightly at an angle. So, sorry, I'm difficult trying to focus. So basically, I want that to not be cocked to the right there. I want it to be completely, which it sort of is, but that could be a potential leak. So, um, what else did I do? Oh, the cooler lines connected to the radiator. Um, Ooh, the top one I can barely get. <coughs> Whoops. Um, this top one, I basically had to get the vice grips out and um, the bottom one came out good. I took the fan shroud apart. You can see this radiator is just totally wasted. So anyway, I'm glad to get a new one of those in there. Um, that's basically what I'll have done. I also made, I cleaned out the dipstick tube. And I also, um, let's see, where's, I made a modified dipstick. Uh, my dad had a good idea. I used basically a bottle cap. Sorry. A bottle cap and, um, I actually don't need this other light. The grommet that I had laying around and, um, some silicone and basically I got two lights going on. so basically it's it kind of fits right over the tube it's not the best I want to get a new one still but something something to get going with um, that's coming and this flex plate um, I'm gonna attach the flex plate get it torqued down and then we're gonna shim this starter and I might film that if it's quick and easy so anyways continuing on project plow truck okay folks we are back on it with the 83 plow truck I ran into a huge issue with the flex plate the one that they had given me uh, warped when I torqued it down I got a second one also warped I had to get a, a heavy duty one I'll show you here in a minute but boy that really was a roadblock but every single thing has been difficult on this truck um let me get my light wherever that went um so basically everything's ready i'm about to start it i've got fluid in it um i got the starter to new flex plate perfectly shimmed I, I might would want it just a teeny bit tighter but i mean it's right there um i got the new radiator and the cooler lines hooked up. I'll show the bottom end. Those were tough. The shroud was tough. It was all bent out of shape. I think the nose of this thing has been pushed in a little bit from plowing. And so everything just didn't quite line up correctly. I had to modify the brackets um, for that, for the uh, radiator. But let's climb underneath here. Oh, let me... I think I showed you this before. This is my dipstick. It actually doesn't fit as well as I'd like, but it, it works for now. So let's go underneath it here. Um, oh, oh, okay, so as you can see, we got the TKs hooked up, drive ons in. This might leak that, that joint right there because I didn't really have what I wanted when I put it all in. Um, as you can see, of course, the transmission. Let me let's slide underneath it over here. Uh, there's our new flex plate, it's gold, it's kind of a galvanized steel or something like that. But it definitely fit up just right. Our starter. These cooler lines proved to be um, a challenge. Um, getting these this little joint that somebody did to repair it, and then actually getting them to line up onto the uh, into where they're supposed to go. Of course, these things can are really easy to leak. It easily will leak if you're not careful. And then. As you can see, I have that bend 
right there. It really crimps down. I really don't like that, but uh, there's definitely flow through it. I can blow air through it pretty easily, so um, we'll just have to get some new cooler lines or something at some point. Well, my nose is stuffy. I can hardly talk while I'm laying down. Got the oil change, a new oil filter. That actually got damaged when I took the exhaust down. Um, I got, I had to tape some wires for the oil pressure sensor. Um, I actually did a lot of little stuff that just needed trimming. I wanted to get a new bushing for this uh, bracket, but I just really cleaned it up and put some silicone grease on there. Um, basically tested, I got power. Oops. I got power at the uh, the torque converter clutch or the uh, the main connector here for the torque converter clutch solenoid. Basically everything's hooked up, so I'll see if that works. And then uh, Hanson Transmission did a phenomenal job of rebuilding this for me. Um, but guys, we we're ready to start. I just want to do a quick video. I did some other stuff, um, just washers and just getting everything to fit better. That's the T case. Uh, rod there but we're gonna start this thing up guys and we're gonna immediately put some fluid in it um, I've got six quarts plus one in the torque converter in the engine now or in, sorry in the transmission now I got it filled with oil did the oil change I got it filled with coolant and uh, we are ready to start this thing and immediately come out here I'm gonna add four or five quarts of trans fluid and um basically be ready to go guys praying that this operates properly so thanks for watching everybody i'll i'll do another uh in fact maybe i'll do a second video to start Just about third. It's <sighs> got the old truck back from the trans shop. Cheryl's taking a cruise. It's gonna be our backup vehicle while we're working on the the plow truck. And uh hope my phone doesn't take a stumble here. I think we're gonna end this video. And, uh, Let's go for the interview. <laughs> How to drive, sweetie? You have it running with no key in it. Because it pulls out. How was it? Great. All right. Did it ride smooth? I've got a driver's side reverse slide out. I gotta change. <laughs> 